Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a House. So I've done a couple of little things. I think I've done quite a lot, actually. Uh, just basic stuff like, you know, move the house. I'm trying to remember what I did from last time. It's been, it's been like four days of heavy work. Um, but I've put around a fence and moved the house over to this corner piece. I think I've got an idea for doing this corner piece. Uh, well, the other house come up with an idea for this corner piece anyway, like having a little load of trees that then go to a thing. You'll notice this really fluorescent pink tree. Uh, that's a test texture. <laughs> You're going to see a lot of them in this series anyway, I think. Um, just because it's, it's one of those, whereas the zoo, it's usually just a specific tex texture, but whereas this one's playing around loads, so... Yeah, anyway, what have I done? I've mowed the lawn, as you can see, so I've just used the pod sole just to do that, and obviously if you're on other versions, you can just use green wool, uh, green wool, lime wool, something like that, I th whatever really fits with your texture pack. I uh, put in one of Jag Thunder's like, little jeeps, so one of those. Uh, need to turn it blue, though. So that's a note to myself, make blue. Basically, make make the car blue. Um, what else have I done? I put a little path going just to here, you know, off the side. A couple of bushes, we've got a little flower pot here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish off this. Uh, on this side, and you also notice another new texture, like a, a fancy type one. It's actually for something else, weirdly. Um, but it kind of worked, so I've left it in there. So this texture is actually for basically like painted houses like you get in America. So those like painted wood. So I've got a couple of different colours of those, so I, th I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, I'm still messing around with the actual colours themselves, so yeah. But it kind of works as a, a fence type thing. We've got a nice gate here on this side. This one isn't used that much, as you can see by the overgrowth. I've tried to keep all the lawn like clean. Also, uh, just shoved down an oak sapling there to remind myself to make an oak tree because I'm making all the trees for these. Um, I might just do a pack. Got a couple of bins on this side. This is the side that people actually walk on. And we've got a biome specific door here, which uh, doesn't look the same on the other side. But we've got that. Uh, in the back garden, we've actually got a little bit. I decided to, just to do this. Um, my girlfriend actually wanted to try and have a go at stuff, and this is kind of simple ish. Uh, just direct me to me that she loved. Uh, so <laughs> what we've got is a little room uh, that she's just been messing around with, which is just very simple little sofa, simple little fire. I still need to animate that. I know I do. Uh, just a small end table and you know, a little shelf with a couple board games. So it's like the, the fun room. So say if um, you know mum's cooking in the kitchen or mum or dad is cooking in the kitchen, uh, kids could be playing in here. You know, you could close the patio doors off, uh, not have any fire, or have the guard you know fully across. And um, and then they can actually play in there rather than playing in the actual you know, dining room. Uh, they have a little room that they can actually play in and hang out in stuff. And also sleeping on a sofa which has got like a nice sun lounge is pretty awesome. So very simple. Nothing really too much to it but still very, very cool. And uh, has its function. So that's what I've done with that room. Uh, another thing I've done is put in a washing machine. So I've put in the washing machine and I've changed the biome of this one to forest so that we get the wooden version of the brown carpet. So I've done that, and I think I did this, didn't I? I can't remember if I've done on camera or not. Uh, I'm also messing around, again, test textures, horrible. But this kind of looks a little bit better, I think. So we've got all that in there. So the actual garden, we've got a nice small table. Now, obviously, with the trapdoors, I've got the white ones, which I can put up the back, and they look awesome. Uh, and also, I've got these little stools, so they actually look like seats. But the actual table itself, now, if you are in default, for example, let's, let's go if you're in default. Uh, ideas that you guys can do. Uh, stuff like dark oak slab and just putting on an iron trap door. Something like this is going to be the closest you guys can get to one of these stand-up stools, which looks absolutely fine, like stand-up seats. Uh, it looks fine. Iron doors, you won't be able to open them. And then the table is just, you know, coloured glass to match these, these, these kind of bits here. Um, glass panes, you know, going free across and then just putting carpet on top. Just to make a small little table. Um, it's nice and simple. Got a barbecue. A bit of a weird barbecue. I might tutorial it because it's very simple it's gonna be a very quick tutorial for that one um, basically got like a fire in the middle and then you know that's where it is there and we've just got like a, a block on top of that got a stair here stair here slab going across so you can actually see into that fire I uh, got a detector rail and an activator rail I haven't textured these in in my texture pack but it still looks good and they got a slab on each side and then just on the back we've got this bit here and this is for where uh, maybe you have like I don't know, stuff to feed the fire. Maybe maybe like this bit at the back. Yeah, God, God damn it. <laughs> this bit at the back, you know, maybe that can open up or you can shovel things in somehow. I don't know how it works. Don't ask me. Um, over here we've got a test cherry blossom. Really, really pink. Um, but yeah, that's, it's just very pink leaves. And I built this one a minute ago. So, long ago. so it's just very open. 
uh, as a tree. And it's got, you know, the cobblestone walls, the, the spruce ones, and I also use the spruce um, fences. Which I'm going to do like a, a forest forest variant, which will be the logs, I think. Something like that, uh, finally, in the pack at some point. But from a glance, it looks really nice, I think. You know, it's nice to cherry blossom there. I also got a deck chair. This is Quitster's design. 100% Quitster's design. Um, really cool. I, I love it. Uh, it's just like two of those those floor bits down there. A couple of signs on each side and the white trap door on the back. I've just got a wine bottle out there because that's the only drinks we've really got. Nice little pond. Nice little feature. And then we got another light tree. This is kind of like a weird willow. Because <laughs> I didn't really know what to build with it. I, I just wanted to play around with some tree stuff. So I did that and I also kept the, the, the a little bit more um, grass around. Because it's modern. I don't want to just spam it with you know tall grass type stuff. I want to try and make it look like it is you know, clean and cut so we've got a little bit around there maybe they can't cut around the tree so well you know especially around here you struggle so it's around there simple lily pads uh, a couple of little pond leaves you can't even see them but there's leaves down there um that's really it for that bit uh nice little flower bed here just a little design using the slabs going around it and then just filling it with grass ferns and a couple of flowers um really not much to say about that one uh, it's it's very simple and also having this flower box on the outside as well but it you know this one you've seen a million times before it just adds a little bit more detail it's just quite nice i think and then we have a greenhouse which is really complicated as hell using the glass trap doors <laughs> so this is something that you guys will not be able to do it it's only if you've got the uh, i can't remember what a plugin's called it's a plugin that basically allows you to place things anywhere in a way kind of um like for example if i put down a ladder it's a bucket only one, so you have to have a server, but you know if you do that then the ladder stays. It's that plugin, whatever that one is. Can't remember what it's called, but it's that one. So I've got some glass shelves in here, a little bit of that, which I've got farmland, um, which is really cool. You know, bigger plants at the back, a little bit of farmland in there mixed in with the mud to make it look different leveled, like it's being tilled or, or something. And then I've just got flowers. Uh, really simple, nice little flowers going across. And it looks really nice, I think. It's something I haven't really seen. And I've also got one of the windows at the top open. Because it's a really, really hot day, and I don't know why not. <laughs> so yeah, it's just adding a bit of detail. So that's that's what I've been doing. That's what I've done. Even uh, I'll do the front garden as well off camera. I'm gonna try and make these like like show you guys the important stuff. Like out there, it I was mainly messing around with ideas rather than anything else. Got the garage still downstairs as well, but. Uh, can't kind of bother with that today. <laughs> we're going to do one of the bedrooms. We're going to do the smaller bedroom. I think we're going to do the smaller bedroom. This one right here. Now, in terms of a bed, we're going to have to do like a small bed. Or we're going to have to have a bed this way, which means we can have a bigger one. But it's three by three. Um, what we're going to need is glowstone and roof. Now, it is really sunny. Well, I say really sunny. It's quite sunny in the UK at the minute. So, that's quite nice for us, obviously, because we never get sun. But um, it does mean that when I'm recording... I can hardly see anything on my screen, <laughs> so that's always good. Right, so now I've got a choice, either having like a 2x2, two two, and you know, for example if I did do red, you know, having like 2x3, like that way, or doing it this way. Those are my kind of choices out of, out of both of them. Those are the choices that I basically have to uh, make, so yeah. Alright, so we'll do that. I think what we're going to do is... We're going to do it on this wall. I'm actually going to put this up as well, just to make it simple. Do one like that. And what we're also going to do is... No, we're not going to border it. No, I don't want to do that now. I'm going to put it in this corner. I, I know. Just changed my mind. But what I've seen done before is when you put a glowstone block in here. It's a shame that it's a bit too small. Maybe we're going to go with grey or something. You know, have that going off. I've seen that, like it's falling off, like that that strip that you get, it's falling off. But not really my style, is it? Okay, <laughs> it's not the kind of thing I do. I'm still messing around with interior, like interior design for modern. I I will be honest, I I don't really know it. <laughs> uh, I think we need just bigger. We need bigger for more interior. So what I'm going to do first is, I'm going to go with, like white with grey. You know. No, we're not going to do white with grey. That's boring. It's very modern, but it is boring. Uh, maybe do like dark grey instead. That might be a better choice. So we'll go like dark grey and maybe light grey. Just to 
try and that's like, now that just looks so small for me to me. Um but as we can do like stuff like that, it meh. We can come out that much I guess. And then put on a couple of little side tables with the crafting tables. Like that. Now in this little gap here, what we're gonna have uh maybe a shelf. Let's have a shelf using birch or something. Let's line it up a little bit. Got some birch there, and we're gonna have a flower on it. For example, I just have an orange tulip. It's a bit random, but seems to be working quite nicely in there. Right. So got that. Nice, simple. Uh, we could do have like a lamp or something in here, can't we? Not really so much for lighting, but let's go with the simple. Now I still need to bloody texture this. Somebody remind me. Oh my god, and shaders are horrible. Right. Okay. Switch over to <laughs> off shaders. It actually looks all right for a stand, but I don't like how it's the same as the roof ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it over to that. I need to do a proper one, really. So remind me of that as well if you're watching. There's a lot that you guys need to <laughs> put in on you guys to remind me. There we go. Found some black there. Cool. So we get that as well. And that, so we just switch over. So we've got this. It's nice and simple. And we're just going to have a nice little bit of grey carpet just going over. Or on the end or something. Now on the end itself, a line here. Maybe a desk. I think desk over here. So a nice desk. Now, do I want this to be... A, now what? Wait, why is that? That's east. Um, if we're looking north, then that, that keep would want. I need to change some biomes for that maybe uh, at some point to do direction. I know I've been asked it before, but for this one, yeah, it is, it is that way. I did not want to do that. Okay, let's change it back. Okay, so we're going to have here, we're going to have a desk. Now because of that, what we can do instead is uh, something maybe with the crafting tables or something with maybe like dispensers, make it a grey one. Okay, we're going to have some dispensers here and here. And that well, looks like a filing cabinet now actually, which is another use for it, that's good. But um, it's good isn't it? It isn't good. I'm going to go with the same style, maybe that's too grey. I'm going to go like that style, desk. Maybe have like another shelf here. Maybe we'll have another shelf going across there, maybe. And also, what we're going to do is grab a painting. And we're going to start messing around with this painting. So there we go, let's grab the... That one. That one. There we go. So we got that one. Uh, we don't really need to do much else here. Uh, not really at all. Because we can't really put anything in there unless we, you know, do something on the side. I, I think that makes it look too busy. So I'll just go with something very simple. It's going to have very simple colours as well, which is a bit mm, annoying, I think. Alright, let's not look there. Grab the light grey, grab the white, and try and mess around with some of these instead. I think white's the right one at all. Um, maybe a light grey. That looks a little bit boring, doesn't it? Okay, well we are going to go for what we did originally, which is the grey, but I think it works better. I have all of them. So then we get this. We get a nice little simple thing there. Uh, we need an actual seat for it, so I'm going to grab that one that I've got here. And make sure to change that one. Uh, there isn't anything underneath this as far as I know. Not really, no. Which is good. So that's a good thing about modern actually. Biomes aren't too bad. So that is good. Right, okay. So we could have grey or we could have dark or we could have something. Might we just go with like a white or something? I do want to have colour at some point. <laughs> Maybe not in this one. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to go with white. Right, okay, if we just switch back to this and just go for a couple there. Maybe as well. We do the trapdoor, just a single trapdoor on the back. Uh, see, that looks a little bit too... I don't want to make it look like it's... Uh, I don't want to make it look... Oh, don't want to do that. I don't want to make it look like it's a, a kind of very fancy 
chair. I want to make it look like a kind of low down chair. <laughs> I'm actually just going to put a sign like that. I think that works. You know, it works in there. Now we can have some books in here, possibly. So we got a bookshelf. Bookshelf. There we go. We've got some bookshelves. Put those in. I do that. And then maybe uh, this one. Maybe that, that one. And that one. That one. We'll have something on there that's actually a player head of some kind. So some sort of interior decoration type block. Uh, we could have a fish tank. We could have toaster. Oh yeah, I forgot about toaster in the kitchen, but it doesn't really matter. Um, you know, something that means something. Microwave as well. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, right. Globe. Yeah, we'll put a globe. Why not? So I'll throw in one of these. Let's just do that. So what we're going to do is I... 397 from 8 later. I'll put this in here and we have a globe. It's kind of nice. It's quite nice and simple, isn't it? And then over here we're going to have the actual wardrobe. Now, what colour do we want the wardrobe? Let's be something to contrast. We could even just go grey. <laughs> it's a very grey room. Alright, so then we go into here. What's that? Now, this floor, uh, I'm not too keen on it. I want to go with something marbly, but at the same time I don't because I just don't. Oh, that's good. Come on, wake up, PC. My PC at the minute, my internet is terrible. It is actually dying at the minute, so it's taking a little while to respond. There we go. I might use this one. Is that going to look alright? Let's level too sandy with that. Uh, we need some sort of contrast. Now, whether we go with a different type of wood. Um, and then we can go with dark. Which might look quite nice. Yeah, maybe we'll go with dark. Like that. That'll, that'll work. Don't really need too much else in here, to be honest. Right, now there's that one. That closes there. Close on to that bit. We could actually have that all dark, but I think just having this here. Now this door itself we could actually change. Uh it's over planes. So we could actually have that changed as well. We could change some doors, but I don't think we need to. That's not too bad. Now what we're also gonna go for is a couple more paintings. Especially above this bed. Because we've got a nice big space, so why in the hell not use it? Maybe like some sort of maybe this is a girl's room. Doesn't really look like a girl's room though, does it? So there you go. I'd like something like that. Need some more modern ones. <laughs> Remind me to change the paintings. There's a lot that I'm putting on you guys, but... Yeah, that'll work. I don't want to use the meta stick, because that'll change things. Let's get rid of that. Oh, there we go. Go for that one. Something like that. Maybe we could have another painting here, maybe. Instead. Yeah, we've got massive, massive ones. Ah. Uh. Or do we not need it? I don't think we need that one there. Maybe put that one on the side here or something. There we go. I'll just put that on the side. Uh, at least they got the, like a pitch there, so they got a desk. Got a nice little bed. And that seems to have worked out really nicely. Uh, I'm not really too sure if I need something on the on this bit here. But no, that's worked out quite nicely. I like the shelf there. I like this little shelf bit. I like this desk. This desk is really nice actually. Such a simple design. Now I did see this design. That's all right on Planet Minecraft. I'm sure I did. Um, I think I did anyway. There was one. There was one dude that did it. Did like a nice interior set, which I, I saw these on. And this is all good as well. I'm wondering. Actually, no. That is pretty much it for this episode. We're literally come right to the end. Now we got this bigger bedroom to do. I might do the garage first because it's going to be easier. Um, we can. Well, actually, I say it's going to be easy. We're going to have to, you know, figure out the roof. But then it'll be easier after we've done that. Uh, just so we can get that out of the way. And then that means that we've literally got that. Maybe we'll do the garage and the loft. Yeah, we'll do the garage and the loft next episode. Because I quite like this loft. And also I, I, I put a bird there. That's a nice little um, secrety type thing. Just thought it was cool. Um, so yeah, we've got that as well. But um, that is it for this episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you on the next one.